Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to the last gold medal guide for Chapter 5 of Red Dead Redemption 2. The final mission of Chapter 5 is That's Murphy Country. To get gold in this mission, you'll need to complete the following objectives. Deliver Meredith to her mother within 2 minutes, get 15 headshots, complete with at least 85% accuracy, and complete the mission without taking any health items. As always, the objectives will be in the description with timestamps if you wish to skip ahead. Complete without taking any health items is here, so don't consume anything that improves your health situation, and don't die. The two main objectives here are 15 headshots while maintaining 85% accuracy. I will go into more detail about these once we get to the Murphy's hideout. Just a quick note, you get asked if you want to get there by boat or horse. It's up to you which one you choose, I chose horse so I could have my pick of weapons. I'll pick the commentary back up once we get near the Murphy's hideout. I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my my final move, but I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly, no doubt. What about the women? You sound like Jose. I miss. Um, I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now, and I've seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Charles, will you ride with me? Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brew Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. What are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? Mm. We'll see. Oh. I know the way. Follow me. Come on, pal. We need to get this done fast. Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah. The sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? I say we just ride it. It ain't worth messing around with boats. Okay, sure. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in Sam Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while. Ben managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there. Keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition to yours. Huh. Old Strauss knew about it. 
The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh... I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure our Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not. But he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. I'm just... It's been... Uh... Guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. There's the bridge. not much further now. So, I spent some time up this way while you were gone. Hey, I ran into Rainsfall and Eagle Flies, the Indians. And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. Uh, that's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. A place called Beaver Hollow. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Great. Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here. It's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near. Even the law. You see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me and stay quiet. Let's get closer to them. Come on. Up this way. Right, so we're nearly at the Murphy Cave. You'll be asked to take the first two guys out silently. You kill one and Charles will kill the other. Use your bow if you have it to get your first headshot. You'll walk a little while longer and then you'll spot the cave. After a bit of recon, you'll be asked which approach you want to take. Sneak in or flush them out. I kind of choose both. The problem here is that Charles is a good shot and he has a shotgun that insta-kills most enemies of which there are only 17 or 18. You need to kill 15 of them with headshots, so if you choose to flush them out, it'll just be a free-for-all and you probably won't get enough. So your only chance really is to try and rush into the cave and get a head start on Charles. There is an opportunity to create a bottleneck using the entrance of the cave, shooting each Murphy as they try to leave. You do this by shooting the guy who exits the cave as you approach. This will alert the others who will leave the cave in a single file. Chances are Charles will rush into the cave like he does on this video, so you'll have to abandon that plan. I did get it to work a couple of times, but you can't really rely on it. Instead, run into the cave and be prepared to use Deadeye for the first few enemies, mainly to kill them before Charles does, but also some of them are wielding machetes, and they will kill you instantly if they get close enough. Once the initial rush has died down, make your way further into the cave, keeping an eye out for the red dots on your minimap. You want to kill every enemy before Charles gets a chance to kill any. 
If you're struggling with headshots, you can always use the little technique that I use, which is to lock onto an enemy and flick the right stick up. This will bring you at head height for a nice easy headshot. It does take a while to master this technique, but once you get it down, you'll be using it all the time and not relying on Deadeye as much. Once the cave is clear, you'll find Meredith locked in a cage. Open the cage to start a cutscene. The next objective will be to get her home in under two minutes. I'll pick the commentary back up once we leave the cave. Let's get that poor girl out of the cage. Please don't kill me. It's okay, miss. Stay away from me. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. You're safe. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? Take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Okay, so the last objective is to get Meredith back to her mother in under two minutes. This is actually very simple. You can just follow the yellow road marker on your map. Just gallop at full speed all the way. If your horse has a decent amount of stamina, you should do it in about 90 seconds. Right, I'll take my leave here and let the rest of the mission play out. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. It's all right, miss. Why would they? Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Just head for the main street. It'll be easier to walk from there. <laughs> 
Place is yours. Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Mona. Ma! Ma! Meredith! Oh, she's alive! Oh, she's alive! She saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, man. Murphy Brew guys. Oh, my God. How did you manage oh, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and Keep her safe. This is down. Oh no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Micah and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch, did you miss me? I found her. Drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. Funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, all my Calm down. I won't be ignored. Dutch Vanderlyn. I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't your stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry. Yeah, I told him, and I tell him again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, She's shoot me. Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on me. Oh, you're you not betrayed so big now, me. Fine. Just calm down. Arthur? Ah. She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. Take her. She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah. 